So to explain how this is gonna work, we need just a little bit of backstory. So I have a series on my YouTube channel called Building a Beach Hot Tub, where basically we dig a hole in a beach, put a tarp in that hole, fill it with water, and then put a burn barrel in it. That way we can basically use the burn barrel to heat the water around it and make a hot tub. Until, of course, the tide comes up and ruins the whole shebang. Now recently, some genius left a comment saying, man, must try this in the winter with snow. And I was like, what? How? Snow? Water? It, it, that's not gonna work. How? But then, I put on my thinking hat. And I was like, wait a minute. Hold up. What if? So I got an idea of how we could actually do this. Man, this hat, this hat alone has made a lot of illiterate people send me some really, really lovely comments. Victim to one of the classic blunders. So what I am doing is I'm building the foundation of the tub out of snow and then using pine boughs to basically insulate it. Then I'm going to line it with plywood and then put a tarp in to hold the water. To heat the tub, we're going to need some supplies, and I plan to do so with a copper coil convection system, which basically means we're going to have coils wrapped around a hot source, aka a fire, that connect up to the bottom and the top of the tub. That way water flows in one end, heats up, and flows out the other end, boiling hot. Last month, I made $300 from YouTube, so that is this month's budget. So Miles and I, we just got the tube, tubes, bottom tubes connected up. So now just need to fill that up with snow, connect up the top tubes. I'm planning to ice down the sides and we make sure it doesn't push out too much when I fill with water. But yeah, getting pretty close. We all we need to do is remove the tape that's keeping the water from going into the tubes and then put the coils into the fire and see if she starts circulating. So almost immediately we had a ton of issues. We found out the copper coil sitting in the snow for a long time got it really cold and then when water flowed in it actually froze it and then even after we got it unfroze we realized that the pipes and the connectors were just too small and we could not get a steady stream to flow through so we had to rethink what is the solution <laughs> think neil <laughs> barrel <laughs> that's what neil's thinking barrel barrel 
Now you're probably wondering what the barrel is for. Simply put, we're gonna use the barrel as a burn barrel, but in the hot tub itself. And we're also gonna add the coils going through the barrel and going in and out. That way, not only is the barrel itself heating the water around it, but then we have water circulating as well for maximum heatage. Tub has frozen some. barrel full of gravel and put a couple cement blocks in there that way it's being weighed down into the water a ways that way when I could build a fire up and around it it'll be heating the water up as well as circulating through the coils and our starting water temperature is 51 52 all right Check the temp again. 60, 78. Woo! Ooh, it's really nice and hot on top, and then a little bit chilly at the bottom. Mamma mia. Oh, dang, that's nice. Feel the bottom, though. Dang, that's kind of chilly. <laughs> <laughs> The top is probably 100 degrees and the bottom is probably like <laughs> 60 on a Yeah. Thing. At least, as long as you're trying to mix it. Oh, <laughs> you're dipping the barrel. <laughs> Two bros chilling in a hot tub. <laughs> and it's just cool and all, but now it's kind of chilly. <laughs> it's like... Just the way that you are. Just the way that you The surface is reading 106, 107. This actually looks really hot now. Okay, gotta be paying attention to the barrel. Once you swirl the, the bottom water with the top water, it's like perfect. <laughs> Just gotta be careful of the barrel. It did touch my bum earlier. <laughs> that did. Let me put my arm over here. So funny about this, I didn't think that it'll work this well. This is better than when we did it in the summer on the beach. Now all thanks to the YouTube commenter genius A I A I A I I I Z for suggesting this idea. But yeah, this was a lot of fun to do. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Tell me all your fears. For now there's no purpose, no need to be nervous We're all so far from worthless